Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. This is Miss V here. How y'all doing today? This is my chair that I use in my craft room. And I am in on the hunt for a new chair because this chair is very uncomfortable. Um, it was just a little cheap chair that they were throwing away at the hospital and I brought it home to use in my craft room. I like it, however, it doesn't have a lot of cushion. I know you can't really see that because it's black, but it don't have a lot of cushion. It's kind of thin. It's very uncomfortable. So sometimes I have, when I'm doing crafts, I have to get up for a moment and rest and then go back. So I came up with this grand idea as a temporary fix until I can purchase a chair that I like. I looked at a few at Ross and TJ Maxx. Y'all hear my grandbaby in there. You have to excuse him. Decided he wanted to cry when I get ready to film this video. Now he's been quiet all the time. So anyway. Like I was saying, I have come up with a temporary fix until I can find the chair that I like. And I seen one that was $60, but it's not exactly what I want. And I don't want to spend money on something I don't really want. So, this fee has come up with a brand idea. So stay tuned and show you what we're doing. Remember the two cushions I purchased from the Dollar Tree. I told you I had a DIY to do with it. This is what I did. I have taped the two cushions to this chair to give it give me some more cushion and I was gonna just go purchase some fabric from the fabric store and just cover it with that but I found this cute pillowcase that I like from the um, thrift store for 99 cents and I'm gonna cut it up and upholster the chair with this great idea right so instead of spending 60 some dollars on a chair I'm spending two dollars and a little labor because we have three dollars each pillow was a dollar and this pillow sham was um, 99 cents. So I'm going to take the hem out of here to give me a little more material and I'll be back. Hem out of the sham and I've cut it down to size. I want that design to be on the seat portion of the chair and this is just some of the um, lining that came off the back of the um, sham. So I'm going to get my um, staple gun out or either hot glue gun and um, cover these cushions and I'll be back. My chair is all covered and I like it but let me be honest with you this was a tedious job but I had to remember why I was doing it. I was doing it to save the money to help someone so that's why I went ahead and put in the effort and did a selfless act. So this is, you can't see, I don't have a lot of, hold on, I have more issues with light. Okay, this is better. So as you can see, this is the back part of it. It's not perfect, y'all, but this is a temporary fix until I can get a chair that I really want. And besides, I just did this temporary fix to show you that you can, um, save money by doing some projects yourself. And I see a little piece I need to uh, glue back. Let me glue this and I'll be back. Okay. I got it all glued. It's not perfect, but it's okay for now. The time can give me a chair. But the purpose of me doing this video is just to show you that even though you're on a budget, you still can do things to save money in your budget and still be able to be a blessing to somebody else. I'm saving this I chose not to spend the sixty dollars on the chair that I did see because I'm trying to help someone in need. And so, you know, at some point I'll be able to get the chair. That's not that's not something that's important to me, a, a chair in my craft room. So I just came up with this idea since I already had a chair to just make the chair that I have more comfortable. Sometimes you have to be um um sometimes it's good to neglect yourself to help someone else. That's the purpose of this video. You know. So, I'm not going to go into detail about who the person is, it's just, just know it's someone in need, and it's a family member. So, that's what I'm doing, so I saved plenty of money by reupholstering or upcycling or whatever you want to call what I did to this chair. I only did this with $3, $1 for the pillow sham and two dollars for each one of the pillows that I got from the Dollar Tree and it's actually pretty comfortable because um, I taped the pillow down prior to doing this video and did a couple of um, DIYs and just 
stayed in my craft room a couple of hours and realized, yeah, it's pretty comfortable. It's better than what it was. So this is Miss V just showing you that you can help someone be a blessing to someone even though you're on a blessing. I mean, even though you're on a budget. And this is Miss V. I'm going to continue to show you love and encourage you. And I'm going to always, always, always help you save on some of the things you need. Like this. You get some of the things you want. I'll get it later. And I'll be glad to show y'all in a video. My new chair. But this is my chair at present. So this is Miss V. Y'all have a good day. And go out and do something good for someone besides yourself. Thanks for watching.